Uh, what is an ankle bracelet like? It's very painful. It's, um, it's uncomfortable because you can't take it off. You're not supposed to get it submerged in water. So you have to be very careful for me. I couldn't, I really was afraid to take a shower because I don't want to damage it because I would still have to pay for it and then pay for another. It probably weighs a couple, I mean, at least a pound. Yeah, you don't take it off and you have to charge it up for three hours a day at the same time every day. So if you work and you have other things, you have to make sure you're charged before you go or be somewhere where you can charge up. I was, you know, honest about my felony to my employment. Um, they didn't know about my ankle bracelet, but I was honest about the felony because I wanted to be honest and um, they have judged me and I've got my hours cut. So with, and with that felony, I can't go to the state and get food stamps or get cachet. Like most people who only make $500 a month, I would be eligible to get um, What's assistance. What is cachet? Cachet is like um, assistance from the state. Like if you don't have enough income and you have a child and you're single, um, they offer you this but you can't have a drug sales charge, a felony. You can have a felony, but it can't be, it can be anything other than a sales transporting charge because they, it, it's something, you know, I don't really know, it's a drug case. If you have a felony drug case for sales of transporting narcotics, you don't qualify for food stamps, they won't even, they won't even make an exception. It's no. No matter that you have a little girl. No, I she, I can't even use her as to get it. It's a no, flat out. So that's kind of left me with. Do you owe any money to the state? I owe probably $8,000. And what's that a result of? Um, court, going to court. Every time I go to before the judge, I owe $300. Every time I go and see the judge. Now, every time I got incarcerated, I owe probation fees, which add up to about $3,500. I owe, oh, it, I could go on and on. I have bills stacked on my, on my um, bar at home that I won't even open because there's no sense I'm not going to be able to pay them. So what, what do they threaten you if you don't pay the money? Well, they say that they could, they could throw me back in jail for it if I don't pay my restitution oh, fees. Like de debtor's prison almost. <laughs> to go back to jail if I don't pay them. And they have um, the orange, when you get an orange slip, the revenue of recovery, they say if you don't pay this amount, it can go report to the probation department and you can be, you can get a warrant out for your arrest for this. So I'm like, well, I make $400 a month. Not even at this point. I'm working 15 hours a week, $9 an hour. I don't understand how I'm supposed to be able to afford that. I can barely, that's not even enough to eat on a month if you really think about it. So for me, I just feel, sometimes I feel like I'm doing all this hard work, but, um, Nothing's changing.